This is no longer the search for missing children. This is the search for killers. This stretch is just so beyond what anyone could imagine. Breaking news in the case against doomsday prophet Chad Daybell. Prosecutors say they will seek the death penalty against him. Investigators have recovered human remains at Chad Daybell's residence. There's no way, Morgan, I should never come up with this. Lori was his follower. Chad Daybell's the prophet. Chad had a vision, plague, and foreign troops coming into the soil. Will his wife, Lori Daybell, turn on him? It's just so hard to know where... The truth ends. All eyes on this Idaho trial. Big ruling by the judge. The venue changed. The further away you can get from the scene of the alleged incident, the better off you are. Think about all the people that had to die and disappear. It's the doomsday prophet Chad Daybell on trial. Welcome back. It is not just the doomsday prophet, it's the doomsday mom, Lori Daybell as well, or Lori Vallow Daybell. Both of these two um, indicted and, and um, for the murder of her children, who you will recall were found buried in his backyard. Her husband shot and killed by her brother. His wife mysteriously dies. There are now charges related to that as well. Uh, this is a case with so many layers and so much happening in it. And um, Lori Daybell back in court today. Let's bring in Court TV legal correspondent Joy Lynn Nackrey, who has all the latest today. This is a case unlike any other that we've ever seen. What happened today? Yeah, so the major headline out of today is that prosecutors are the ones who are asking for Lori Daybell's trial to be continued, pushed back from October to January. This is in order to coincide with Chad Daybell's trial. Uh, right now, the cases are conjoined, but Lori did not waive her right to a speedy trial last month. So legally, it has to be tried within six months of her arraignment. Prosecutors argue witnesses and evidence in both the trials are substantially the same. It'll be more cost effective to hold the trials together. Proceedings expected to last about 10 weeks. Chad's attorney filed a motion in September to sever the trials. The judge ultimately denied that. Here's what Madison County Chief Deputy Prosecutor Tanya Rawlings said in the hearing today. The court can find good cause to continue Lori Vallow Daybell's trial. As the defense team recognizes in their response, there is a voluminous amount, or I think a mountain, of evidence to review in this case. Um, mitigation experts require significant time to review evidence and prepare argument, and a period of time beyond the six-month statutory limit lessens the burden on defense counsel to be ready and decreases potential issues on appeal. So the defense is maintaining Lori does not want to give up her right to a speedy trial, yet at the same time, they are acknowledging that continuing the trial would give them more time to repair. In court filings last week, her attorneys, Lori's attorneys, wrote that her mental health is extremely complex and fragile, so they could benefit from some extra time. Here's what defense attorney Jim Archibald said in the hearing today. We'll be respectful of the court's decision. Uh, whether it's an October trial setting or not, the uh, Mrs. Daybell still wants to exercise that right. She she understands that we're working hard to get caught up. We're spending a lot of time, and the, the, her defense team is spending a lot of time uh, getting getting caught up since the state's been involved in this case for over two years, and she's been in jail. For over two years, uh, but her defense team is not, and so, but, but we're we're doing all we can. So Lori instructed her attorneys not to file a request for separate trials. But Vinny, essentially, I mean, they're playing along with prosecutors, right? I mean, the, the, it doesn't harm them to postpone the trial. They don't want to give but up. But she has life. to wave. She has to wave the speedy trial. They're still not waving it. They're not. They're not waving it. They're not waving. They it. want the judge to make a <laughs> exactly. ruling so they can appeal it that she didn't get her speedy trial. That's right. This it doesn't make sense. Like on the one, we're not waving speedy trial, but uh, we don't want a separate trial, and we could use the extra time. But this is weird. Well, it is. It is weird. But it's I mean, inconsistent. That's a great point. Perhaps it gives them kind of potential grounds for an appeal. Um, and, and they're kind of banking on the judge making the decision for them, right, instead of 
her yeah. just waiving her right. I, I, and, and, and his trial is not going to be earlier. His trial is right. always going to be January. Prosecutors are worried about trying it twice. They, they want them both together, so they point the finger at each other. They don't want them pointing the finger at an empty chair. So yeah. prosecutors, they could say it's about the cost and all that. It's not about cost. It's strategy. They want to try them together. It's a stronger case for prosecutors if they're together. If they're separated, it, it becomes a little bit more difficult um, to prosecute Lori because she could say, oh, it was Chad that did it. And then when Chad's by himself and he wants it, <laughs> he wants to separate, he said, no, it wasn't me. It was her. It exactly. Was so uh, it's a game. Oh, it's I, a game that they're playing. When is the judge going to make the decision, oh, no, though? I, I need to know if I'm flying out to Fremont, Idaho in October or in January or both. <laughs> no, I know. Well, that's the question. Um, so the judge actually didn't make a ruling yet on, on today's hearing and said he was going to put together a written decision, think on it. That's um, not an easy one for the judge. I, I feel bad for the judge. If I'm the judge, I'd say, no. you're not waiving the speedy trial? Get ready for trial. Yeah. I'm not giving you grounds for an appeal. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Wow. Joy Lim Nacron, thank you so much. This is a big one. This is another big one uh, here on Core TV.